Hello, kiddies. Somebody asked me about cutting out by the wrestling promo. Well, very interesting concept. A wrestling promo, okay. There's several ways you can cut a wrestling promo. There are certain wrestlers today that just try to talk like them USC fighters, which is kind of way too laid back, like, you know, like, they go like, well, you know, yes, I'm a heavyweight champion, I've been through the ropes, uh, I put a lot of effort and enthusiasm, you know, and lots of hours in the gym, countless hours, man, uh, I've been training with my trainers, you know, I've been putting it all, man, and uh, uh, I'm very excited to have this time, cut, 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 nah, nah, I don't write up. Then you got the other ones that just play goofy, that's okay, you know. I go, Hello there, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm the one, number one contender, and, and, I, and it's okay if the character calls it, like being goofy and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Then you have the, the red name. Well, let me tell you something, son. I'm gonna rip you apart. So many parts, Bob. I'm gonna tell you now. Your mama ain't gonna rip you next no more. I'm down on with you in that square circle. But it's not just a threat. This is going on, T, son. You better bring your best friend. When you at it, you better punish that best, son. Make it look pretty. Because y'all about to unto me. I run away to a true champion. That's one example. Then, of course, we have the others, uh, the other, very dark, very gothic type of promos. But for example, would be the Undertaker back in, back in the day. You know, so. The very dark boys. You better be careful when you step in the ring. And just just to think about yeah, what you fear the most is standing right, right next to you. The Green Reaper is my best ally. I will bury your career as I will take you. Take you to levels of pain you never imagined or dreamed about in your worst nightmares. And after I lay you down on the middle of that ring, and the referee counts one, two, three, I then will annihilate you in front of all you little fans, take your soul, and drag it into the deep depths of hell. Then you have, ooh, that was dark. Ooh, yeah. Then you have the very out of the box, energetic uh, promos, and sometimes a quizzical, very but very energetic. Perfect example would be the ultimate warrior. His whole character, he is a name says at all, ultimate warrior. You know, very out there, very out of the box. But the growl, they got the... <laughs> it's very intense. <clears throat> the ultimate warrior. Ooh, I can feel it a little bit. My heart, bitch. Anyway, the ultimate warrior is very much that. Where the box? Like, so I see the fear in your eyes. I can see why I am the ultimate warrior. And you, Hulk Hogan. You have not yet grasped what the meaning of the ultimate warrior has in bestowed upon himself. When I have talked to the gods from above, and they 
Daddy said your time is come to a full circle. Lots of energy. Uh, <laughs> anyway, and well, no, anyway, more or less. You know, the whole, you know, we might start with a, a little bit calmer and then build it up in crescendo. You know, the whole, the whole thing. But Ultimate Warrior, I'm going to tell you one thing. A little bit older now, but wiser. I got a little tear, a little wear on my body. But the fans, they call the shots. You call me out and I'm going to have to tell you. I'm going to have to tell you louder than the shot heard around the world. Yes, Ultimate Warrior, I take your challenge. Yes, Ultimate Warrior, once more we're going to of the square circle, man. Yeah, because it's only four inch pythons. They're hungry. Hunger for the victory once more will be mine. And I will teach you a trick or two what I might. And what I'm teaching you, teaching you the discipline of humility. Let's just pray. Pray to God that I will have mercy. Mercy and pity over you, brother. Because when I'm said and done, when I lay in the middle of that square circle, brother, so what you gonna do, man? What you gonna do? When Hulkamania, on the bar of the pythons, the larger sons in the world, my 24 inch pythons, run wild on you! Yeah, brother! Ooh, yeah! And Moment to breathe. Um, there's another one. The match of me and what? Ooh, yeah, me. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, me, there's something. Who can you think is one moment here? Did you want to just walk around here and ignore me? I don't know what I am, man. I'm going to tell you right now, man. Ooh, yeah. The macho one has always been supreme. Yeah, I'm going to boost me. Well, yeah, because I'm out of the question, what do you think I am? I'm not. Because what you think I'm out of the question, I want the question again all over me. Yeah. Just when you think you knew all the answers, I change all the questions. R.I.P. Macho Man, I'm going to all miss you. <sighs> Let's see what all the comments. Before I just throw my throat completely. <coughs> <clears throat> I say, hmm. The rock. Oh, it's so sexy. Ah! Oh, it's so my rock. Rock, rock, I got a question for you. Now that you're uh, back to rock, um, you know, once more face chilling now, um, uh, what are your thoughts? And the. Uh, 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 uh,
That's right. The, the people's champion has come back to wrestling. And it's not a denial about what I can do in the ring. Even though seven years, seven years that I have been inactive from professional wrestling. It doesn't mean that I stopped training. It doesn't mean that I lost some of my know-how. I come from a long dynasty of pro wrestling legends. My great grandfather had chief Peter Maivia. My uncles, Abba and Sika. Just to name a few. You see, John Cena, you might have the rap down packed, nice and pretty and pretty. But I'm going to tell you one thing. The rock does what he wants. And the rock listens to the people. And the people say, I just whoop your can the ass. So you better get ready. You better train harder than ever. Bring your best A game that you can. Because I'm going to decimate you once and for all. And teach you a good lesson in humility. That and more. It gets the bell. With the rock. It's cooking. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ow. Ooh. That's a very macho, very wow from the rock. My interpretation, of course, I'm an actor, I can imitate, and you got somebody like Mick Foley, who was out of the box, and, you know, in a goofy way or whatever, like, well, you know, the mankind, yes, well, you know, there's a man out there, there's no man that I've ever been, he's a legend, and, and he's just, he's destroying me every time he get a chance, with my wire, and see more explosive, <sighs> It beats me with a baseball bat, Bobby. It beats me bad. It's, it's a legend. A legend more than I'll ever be. His name is Daniel Funk. It's okay, I'll stand alone. I'll face the odds because I gotta do it. It's a dirty job. Somebody must do it. And damn it. I gotta pull it off somehow, some way. And I'll do my best. So help me God, <laughs> oh, mother, to your children. <laughs> and see, not a lot, just kind of whimsical on that a little bit, but that's not my kind of promo. And then you have, of course, the exotic wrestlers. Talking about the exotic wrestlers, exotic Adrian Street. Oh my goodness! And look it up, YouTube. Time has come by. I love dolphins. That and more. I'll be posting more examples of wrestling promos. Why? Because I want to. Not because I have to. And I'll show you kitties more. So, stay tuned for more. Coming up on YouTube. Yeah. Because... Soon enough, before you know it. You beauty pageant queen. The movie superstar, the TV reality superstar. I will somehow, somewhat, some way, in the plan of the game. Oh, my wife's got crossed. Let me do it again. If the cards I play right, at a time becomes not an issue, but actually an instrument of my plans. You're looking at the next big time pro wrestling manager, beauty queen, and, and true cerebral assassin, the leader of many, Wendy G. Kennedy. See you soon. Wow.